I'm waiting to get the notification that we are live according to my phone. The lighting might be a little shit. Let me see if I move it over here. Right. Make it a little bit better. Maybe a little bit. Just a little bit. Let's see if I get the notification yet. We're probably live already. I guarantee you some of this, that someone's live. So welcome to the chat room. Okay, I guarantee you that we are live. Hi, everybody. Shane's going to be joining us shortly. He says he has to take care of some things. What's going on, Lyle? It is so nice to see you. I'm still waiting to receive the item I had to purchase in your honor. It's going to be interesting. But in any case, hi everybody. Welcome to the stream. We have a new episode out this week. Wow, that light's really bright. God damn. Um, and our episode is covering Black Belt for the Sega Master System. I thought I'd play the namesake, which is why we had Bonsai Chat over. Bonsai Chat, Nerd Trainer, Brian Trainer that we had on. He uh, He's big into anime. His, his, his chat, he covers anime, pop culture anime, and just weird off-the-topic kind of stuff. That's why he's on there. So I thought I'd play a little bit of the same game, but it's called Fist of the North Star. And I'm just going to be honest with you guys. I'm going to abuse the shit out of these safe states. It's, it's, I have no shame in it. This game is, this game is stupid difficult and not for the right reasons. Like, it's just, I, I tried playing the Fist of the North Star before I came on for the Sega Master System. And like the, the, the mini boss you fight right prior to the boss of the level mm -hmm. apparently has rules that you have to, I don't know. I don't know what these rules are. I've tried figuring it out. I can't find what these rules are, but there are rules to how you... It's a big fat guy. So you have to kill the fat guy. And you're going to find out. So I'm going to abuse the safe states when I get to this fat dude. And we're going to have a good time. But in any case, I don't plan on beating this game. Don't expect me to beat this game. It's not happening. This game is bad. If you don't understand what I'm talking about, go to our episode and listen to us talk about it we we, we i mean i don't think any of us beat the game we just just kind of had to like do more research on how to beat the game than actually beat it because all of us were kind of going into it first playthrough i can't say blind because you know that's ableist so uh we we went into it first playthrough and it was uh yeah it was really difficult and we couldn't make it through so in any case look we're gonna do this we're going to make it as far as we can. We're not going to beat this game. I'm just telling you right now. We're not going to beat this game. Because uh, I'm not that good at games. But um, we're going to do this. And we're going to do the best we can. And we're going to play it. So um, let's have a good time tonight, everybody. Let's have a good time. And that's all we got to do. Let's have a good time. At least you'll have a good time. I don't know about me. You might. I will do the best I can to give you a good time. Okay? All right. Let's do it. Let's get there. Make sure my volume. I don't want to blow open. I'm going to fuck this up, aren't I? Okay, no, it's actually set. Sweet. <laughs> See, as you can already tell, this is Kenshiro. He's cross-eyed for some reason. He has very weird-looking eyes. Ugh. All right, that's the first boss. Much different than Black Belt. I know, I, I'm sure you do, Lyle. You love, you take pleasure in our torment, and I don't blame you. That is, it is an entertainment factor. Taking pleasure in other people's torment is, wow, this is already not going well. I need to stop talking, I need to pay attention to actually hitting these things. Let's kick these guys. Blowing up. So, like, uh, we were talking about on the episode, this is actually harder, or more difficult, than the American version. Because the American version, you can get sushi, you can get invincibility. Here, not so much. That, my thumb is killing me. I've been playing a lot of Streets of Rage 4, y'all. My thumb is killing me. I'm so happy to, to be moving from the PlayStation controller... PlayStation 4 controller to to the Sega Genesis 6-button controller. So much smoother. 
I'm having a much better time. It's not the Saturn controller, so it's not perfect, but... You had sushi today. That's awesome, man. It didn't make you invi Well, sushi only gives you health. It doesn't make you invincible. Okay, this guy jumps over you. This guy's pretty easy. Yes, I get hit. Ah! Like, I don't intend to jump. This guy has screwed up my flow. What is going on? This is about the hit detection. Okay, he blew up. Good. Bye-bye. hit detection is just so inconsistent. I might die to the fat dude just because he does require some stupid amount of something. I don't know what that is, but... I'll just save state here anyway. So I'm gonna abuse it, people. What's happening in here? I'm fighting a fat dude. Oh my god, that's... Not very politically correct of you. I don't care. Why would is I? It, is it consensual fighting? What? What? What does that? What does that have anything to do with political correctness? Oh, everything. Oh, he died. Okay, I'm saving the state. <laughs> that's that's gonna be the story of the evening. I already said it at the beginning. I'm spamming the shadow save states. I don't even care. Yeah, yeah it's God. No. It's God. Ah! As you can see, I'm not my white gi, because I'm not a I'm not a self-absorbed prick. Oh, I see. We're 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 playing the the legit fist of the North Star. Hold on. Let me load the state. That didn't go like I wanted it to. Black Fist of the North Belt Star. Um, yep. that's Dark Fist. Thank you very much. What? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> I just do. God damn it. Uh, I'm I'm not running a voice mod, Lyle. Why? Is, does it sound weird coming over? I don't. It doesn't sound weird on my side. Unless you're oh, just I was just, deeper. I was just listening. No, it sounds fine. That's just it's just how I sound, man. Also, to be fair, like Optimus Prime, the voice actor for Optimus Prime, is pretty close to a Barry White Transformer anyway, right? So So here's what's fucked up. Like when I when I played this earlier to make sure it would work. Like, yeah. I beat this dude on my first try. Oh, uh, of course. It's always the story. And now he is just cheesing me like I'm cheesing him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stop mm -hmm. doing the fucking weird kick shit, you fucking weirdo. God damn it. Uh, You know, I just got... A uh, new backup drive, an external drive for my computer, because the one I had was very small and was running out of space. And so, can I just like gripe for a second? Why the fuck yeah. do these manufacturers feel like they need to put a whole bunch of extra garbage on these things? Just put a drive inside of a case and leave it the fuck alone. Yes. You know, like Seagate, I don't need your proprietary like auto backup software and a bunch of garbage already on the drive. Like it's not necessary. No. Just, just give me my terabytes and leave me alone. That's what I got when I uh, changed out the high drive to uh, this computer right here. Yeah, I got a five uh, five terabyte Seagate external so that I can nice. back up a bunch of stuff. Plus, uh, I may or may not be starting a personal project soon of building a, a media collection. I have a media collection too. It's just, I can't talk about it. 
Let's say, is it in the in the documents folder? We call it the training folder. Training videos. Ah, I got gotcha, you. Yeah. Yeah, it's just five terabytes of Genshin Impact hentai, Lyle. That would not surprise me. <laughs> but it's it's all just Ning Wong. That's it. Just just that one. Five terabytes worth. Of, damn. Sounds like oh, you have yeah. some cosplay going on there. Well, I got everything. I got everything going on. Wait, I can. You can jump on the truck. That wasn't in Black Belt. I want to jump on trucks. <laughs> That's bullshit. Why didn't we get we got, that? The, I gotta see. Can the, I jump the up truck there? Jumping I can jump up there. I can jump up there. there. Are you seeing this? Yeah, look at that. What? This is a vastly superior version of this game, obviously. What? Get my ass kicked, but... Like, on some level, I do like that all of these guys just exclusively kick. It looks like you're just in a very aggressive ballet. It does. <laughs> And this guy has a whip, so man, this could Hoss. be this could probably be big in the LGBTQ community. I don't I don't want to assume. So if someone could tell me, Lyle would probably know. Why is that guy? He's just straight up dressed up like like an SS soldier, but just green. I mean that's yes. I might have to take the L in this one. My health is too low. Yeah, and you're you're playing on real action hero mode where you don't get sushi health no which i still think is crazy that they expect you to get through an entire level and a boss like without any healing at all well you heal every time you defeat a little mini boss a little bit uh well, i suppose that helps i mean it would help if i had like better hit detection because i don't so they can hit me and I can't hit them. Which is always you, fun. You're just expecting too much from this. Yeah. Listen, you got truck jumping. What else do you want? If there's platforms, I can call this a, a platformer. It's like Mario. <laughs> Fist of the North Star. Better platformer than what Mario. What the fuck is even going on here? Changed my mind. Again, like I can I can hurt them they can't hurt me this is bullshit same position okay <laughs> I do I do like that hot take Lyle that's you know I I might be down for that I can I can see it like guitar hero is just really a beat em up at the end of the day. Just gotta, you gotta beat those riffs. You know what I'm saying? Which, by the way, I mean, Lyle of all people knows this, like, acutely. But there was a time where uh, we played a hell of a lot of Guitar Hero, and I was actually pretty decent at it because we played it so much. Um, turns out that's one of those things that like you don't uh, you, you don't stay good at, really, if you don't do it for a while. So it's called a perishable skill is what you're saying. Yes, yes, it is. Like, it, it comes back to you after a little while, but... Uh, mm. See, look Last at this. They're playing played, ping pong with my ass. This is bullshit. I mean, some people pay good money for that. I'm sure they do. It, it is, so it's not really like riding a bike, no. It's more like um, getting back on a bike after like 10 years and falling flat on your face a few times and then being like, oh, I think I remember how this works. It's, it's more like that. Like I was never good enough to legit play uh, Through the Fire and the Flames, like, on, so, but I did it on practice mode to see how many like 
what my percentage was, like what I could get as a high percentage, just as my own personal score. For a while, I was doing pretty good. I got up to like 80 something percent notes hit on expert. Notes hit. And, uh. Did you say notes yeah. hit? What? Notes hit. Oh. I thought you said no tip. Like, what? I would I would never say that. It doesn't make any sense. Everyone has tits. I have tits too. Can you milk me, Fokker? <laughs> like, okay. Stop it. Yeah, we did. And... Randall, you, you damn well know what this is, by the way. I mean, it says it right on the title, man. It's Black Fist of the North Belt Star. Come on. The most popular Sega Master System title. I mean, it's not an unpopular one, unfortunately. <laughs> I mean, this might be a, a spicy take or whatever, but also I just don't feel like there's a whole lot of competition on the Master System, really. That's what I was alluding to in the episode when Shane's like, I didn't believe anybody when they said, you know, this is one of their favorite Master System games. I'm like, you had a Master System. You know this is one of the better ones. No, I didn't. Well, <laughs> no, because I owned a Master System. I had like three games for it, which I think I accidentally owned one of the better ones anyway. Okay, I... How long is this fucking level? This thing just seems to go on for <laughs> fucking ever, and it has died. We're, we're on level two, ladies and gentlemen. Just wanna I think there's only six that. levels on the bright side. That That is true, yes. I like how, how their main offense is clipping. That's great. <laughs> it's quality programming. It's like something Shane would program. I know, right? Fucking this is why this is why no one rides the railroads. <laughs> yes, that's precisely why no one rides a freight rail. You're right. Yes. <laughs> I know if I was slumming, I'd ride on CSX. I mean, listen, man, they take that like hobo thing very seriously. OK, it's most a, rich people it's, do it's dangerous. We don't want the poors to, to get on our trains. Yeah, we don't want free transportation. Yeah, fuck that. What the fuck? Wait, I'm ducking. How am I supposed to avoid that? He's just throwing <laughs> fucking knives at me. <laughs> I like that he starts throwing like half a dozen knives before he even fucking shows up. What the fuck just happened? Off screen. Uh, I believe you got wrecked. I think that's that's what happened. Yeah, fuck those three console Christmas people, man. Yeah, you're getting know, a PS5, right? a Switch, and an Xbox One this year. You're a piece of shit because there's a pandemic. <laughs> Especially if you're <laughs> if you're going to go on fucking YouTube, if you're going to go on Facebook and Twitter and say how the how the plan is rigged against you as you play your fucking new systems you fucking assholes i'm okay. unemployed and and i can't find a job and the world is terrible check out my xbox one x and my ps5 go fuck yourself how about that how about you do that how about you get fucked that's what I you just, can do i just love that i'm pretty sure i know that this is a very like pointed comment you're making and but we'll we'll leave it as just a generalization <laughs> Like, how dare you? How fucking dare you? I just want my free handout money so that I can stimulate the economy with a PS5. You're gonna bitch about, you're gonna bitch about shit, and then you can't even get shit that most people can afford. I, go fuck, just go fuck yourself. People can't even afford fucking rent, and you get yourself a fucking PS... Uh, I'm, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. Some people, I swear to fucking God. Late stage capitalism. That's Fun the thing. The they're they're definitely not a capitalist either. 
Or they say they're not. I I'm not. No, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Yeah, what you what you ought to do is just be frugal about it and find yourself a really nice, you know, pre-owned Wii U, which is clearly the superior console. No, they cost too much right now because too many people love the Wii U. <laughs> oh, that's that's the reason, huh? Yeah, just, that's the reason. It's so popular. Yeah, it's it's, it's good. Hey, if it costs one hundred eight dollars, I don't expect anyone to reasonably buy it because you got to get games. Uh, that is true. That is pretty pricey for a. A used console. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that's actually probably the case. Chris has just cornered the market on all of the like pre-owned Wii U's. He's just hoarding them all. I own Wii U. See, I'm fighting the dictator. Oh damn! Why is it's... his hand like that? Now this I, game. Now this I game was is gonna homophobic. ask that, but no, it's it's his snake style. Snake, Snake Jutsu, man. That's that's what that is. Or, or Mongoose. Either I think or. he's being homophobic. I think that makes him a better villain. <laughs> I also appreciate that the floor in this level is just you load on, br on, on fucking... brand with the Master System covers. I do. I, actually, yeah, I love that. Not in Japan, though. Only in the United States. I'm so, clearly so jump-kicking him! I'm clearly jump-kicking him! No, you're landing your fucking gooch on top of his little beret, man. You gotta put that foot in the right place. What the fuck is going on? Uh, you're getting wrecked by his mongoose stance. That's what's- that's what's happening. Uh... Okay. Also, no. also, hi, Mikey. Thank you for joining us. Oh, what's going on, Mikey? Oh man, it's brutal. How am I supposed to kill this dude if when I hit him, I can't even, I can't even fucking hit him? Like he's right there. I'm hitting it's him. A, it's a secret taint technique, Randall. That's what it is. Like, I, like this isn't just me like imagining things. Like it's it's I pretty mean, clear I'm hitting him. Right, but also, I mean, with how the how janky the hitboxes are, though, the fact that you're like right inside of his sprite is probably why you're not actually hitting anything. Jesus Christ. Yeah, have you? Yeah, oh, I was gonna say, Randall suggests a uh, low kick spam. Have you tried that? I don't think it'll work. I can try it. Okay, well, Lyle suggests that perhaps you should try getting good. I've heard Lyle say that before. Hey, yeah. Randall might have a point here. He's nothing if not consistent. Yeah, see, look at that. There you go. Oh, actually, that's, that's working pretty well. Like, it's chipping his health, but he's also not destroying your face, so... <laughs> oh, he started using projectiles. Oh, oh shit. He's, he's adapted. He's adapted and overcame. Skynet. Drink his own piss. Something, something, Bear Grylls. Oh, he, he done did it. And then the man, what exploded into chunks. No, thank you, Orton. You are the real hero tonight. Yeah, also, by the way, for those of you that have already listened to the uh, the new episode that came out today, um, how are your ears recovering from that intro? Are you doing okay? Okay, listen to me. I told you it was coming. <laughs> I I told you. I said, okay, everybody, get like take your headphones off. This is going to be loud. And you all kind of laughed. <laughs> and then I did it. And you're like, ow! I'm like, I Fuck, yeah, I, I'll also note that I I cut that part in about half just to save listeners from getting tinnitus for the rest of their lives. So that's, you're that's, welcome. That's your fault. I don't know how it is. What the fuck? Also, I do appreciate the like pseudo parallax scrolling they got going on. It's yeah. Nice. Yes. Ta 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 ta.
So, I mean, like, is Fist of the North Star basically just like, what if Mad Max had Kung Fu? Yes. Okay. I, I can get behind that. You replace Mel Gibson with Bruce Lee and you have uh, Fist of the North Star. Yeah, okay. Yeah, right, Randall? That's what I was saying. I feel like, you know, I'm I'm actually kind of hoping that this episode isn't the first one that, like, some new people come in to listen to because they're going to, like, peace out in, like, the first 15 seconds. <laughs> Uh, this guy's doing Hadoukens. That's not fair. We might have broken Randall's phone. Randall has a phone. He's in West Virginia. I didn't know they had phones. Allegedly. There. Yeah. He's he's dialing into the this the town's one eight hundred podcast number where you can listen to it over a rotary phone. Also, I don't, I don't really know like why we're suddenly just shitting on your, your hometown. <laughs> There's no reason in particular. That Holy honestly, shit. that doesn't surprise me, bro. Seriously, I mean, it's 2021, and technically, I'm still on DSL, even though they like to call it cable, which they're fucking liars. Is that AT and T? Yeah. AT and T can get fucked. Yeah. Their routers are garbage, shit. by the way. I've noticed. Alright, was that three? Alright, we're halfway through the game. So basically what this means, right, is is you're gonna complete this one and then you're gonna play back black belt next, right? That's the plan. I don't think I'm gonna be able to complete this one. I don't think I'm going to be able to any of these. Fucking birds! I knew, oh, great. Birds. Where's Where's Goobs from the Secret Level Podcast? Because he hates fucking birds. He should play this level. Fuck you, bird! Wait, which part? Which part are you clipping out? I mean, actually, Lyle, if you tell me, we can clip it on Twitch and just make it that way if it's something that you really want yes of course yes exactly what and the fucking fuck Ninja just Gaiden happened has both of them dude oh my god that guy wrecked your shit that was bullshit he just, he, he just came out of nowhere <laughs> it's like wah, 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 wah. yeah birds and bats and any sort of like winged creatures inside scrollers are generally giant assholes Oh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm sure I could, I could get that clipped. Yeah, save state before this mid boss comes and fucks you up. I need to make it there again first, because they're being stream. Oh my fucking god! I just want to know, like, why the wildlife is so angry though at them. Like, why him specifically? You know. Like the birds aren't attacking any of these other are they trained birds? Is that is that the deal? Are are all of these post apocalyptic, like Mad Max looking fools, are they like falconers also in their spare time? <laughs> well, that's why we're here, Randall, is to entertain you, and if that comes at Chris's expense, then so be it. It's definitely coming to my benefit, that's for sure. <laughs> okay. Fuck this dude. Holy shit. Shit, oh, fuck. Oh, God. <laughs> what is even going on? He just, like, does not stop. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, I have to I go I with I don't, I don't, I don't know. Randall's I don't know what suggestion to do. of low kick spam again. I can't. What just happened? Oh. I know, right? It's very rude of him. That was it? That's like... <laughs> what? Oh. No, why did I do that? Did you just load state? Yes. Did, didn't you? Oh, God. 
it's it's for uh, practice. You're, it's good practice. That's that's what it is. I mean, if it makes you feel any better, I, I have safe. definitely done that before. What did I do that on? I can't remember. It was something fairly recent too, where I finally beat something difficult and then I hit the fucking load state button. I just remember being pissed. I remember these guys in the in the black belt game. They weren't fun either. Ah, uh, yes, it's the Aladdin guards. Street rat. If I had if I had more life when I did my save state, I probably would have just loaded that. But I had an abysmally low amount of life. Sorry, Randall. We'll be here when you get back. Unfortunately. <laughs> I also love how they expect you to dodge all these things with jumping, when jumping is UP! What the fuck?! I mean, you know, they only... They only had so many buttons, man, you know? What you wanna do? You gotta punch and like kick. That. I'm gonna fight him again. Oh, that sucks. They don't give you much in the way of, like, a health yeah, boost after no. those mid-bosses. And now my button is, like, sticking. I don't know what the fuck is going on! <laughs> it's the worst place to be stuck in the corner. No one backs baby into a corner. Well, you know, I've never watched that's that not true. I've never watched that movie, by the way. I have never seen the entirety of that movie. I've seen like bits and pieces. It's just not a movie that I've ever felt like, you know what? I want to sit down and experience this entire thing. That's most 80s movies, to be honest with you. Nah, eh, I don't know. There's some pretty good ones. I would say, like, 90s movies. I guess it's just because, like, that's when I grew up. But that's my... Yeah, well, yeah. That makes sense. Okay. I'm saving the state now. And I loaded it again. I don't blame you. I loaded it again. Oh, snap! Congrats, dude. So is it like, is it like a, I assume that it, this must be like a better position, right? Cause I think you said that you still were currently employed. So this, is this an upgrade? Are you, are you leveling up? Or are you at least happier? One of the two or both. That'd be even better. Yeah. There you go. Oh, congrats, man. That's awesome. So when do you start? Jesus Christ. Oh, you don't know yet? Okay. I mean, did it like, did it just happen today or something? Or like this weekend? I don't know like what the strategy would be for these two guys. Like they just... Pray? I yeah, I guess. Like... There's no way that any human being can really dodge all that shit all at once. I think that's kind of the point. I mean, this is the arcade era. So this is, that was probably the kind of the expectation is you're going to die. But again, like, you even look at a lot of like the NES games and like, there is some level of like, if you learn it, you'll be okay eventually. Yeah. I don't, there's, like, no real pattern other than prayer. Oh, God. Like, it's not going to work. Like, God, stop!
They're trying to train me for fucking Oni. That's what it is. I don't know what the fuck his name is in this game. I think it's his brother. Oh my god, I almost died prior to get- Yeah, this is Oni. This is Ooh. Oni. Okay, so, I was gonna say, do you, if he has the same tactics, you remember what you gotta do, right? Yeah. Pray. Well, kinda. Yeah, you, well, you're kinda getting it there. Kinda. Of. I say, you, well, you gotta let him attack first, and then, like, dodge just as he tries to punch you, and then get up and punch yeah, him back. Yeah, really easy to do. I'm not saying it's easy. I'm saying apparently that's the bullshit mechanic you're supposed to do. Beat him! I'm waiting for the stream to catch up. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Toki. Toki is his brother. Very nice. Toki is his brother. So, Randall, I kind of like kind of want to understand the gist of what you just said, but I feel like there's at least two typos in there, and I don't know what you're trying to say. <laughs> uh, I think I got it, though. So, according to the according to the uh, official manual released in North America, these are the black women. I'm fighting the black women. That's, that's fine. Oh, right. Yes, because they are wearing black outfits. Yes. That's, that's the part that they decided to leave out of the description. Why is that important? I the mean, funny, the funny thing is it's written know. like a, it's written like a journalist describing black people too in, in the current year because they capitalized black but didn't capitalize women in the manual. Oh wow. We're getting yeah. we're getting all socio-political now. All right. Jump on the truck. I don't think that's going to do me any good. Yeah, but you can and that's what's important. That is what's important. Or the roof. You can jump on that roof. Just like she did. Oh my god, they actually do have flamethrowers. Jeez. And there's two of them. Okay, so my question though, Randall, is did anybody in your class actually beat it? Like, the thing that you designed them specifically to lose, did anyone actually beat it? Or is it actually just programmatically impossible for them to beat it? Okay, <clears throat> you just answered my question then. All right. That's fucking cruel, dude. <laughs> you didn't even tell them. Oh, man. And that was the year that nobody talked to Randall again after they found out. Actually, now that you're bullshitting... Jumping up on these platforms is advantageous in this fight. That's what I was saying. Shut up. You didn't say that when this fight was happening, Shane. That's, that's, what, that's what I meant, though. to move like that. That's bullshit. I can't even spam low. I can't even do the Orden tactic. Oh. Oh, so you never told anybody. Okay. That's that's pretty good. So that guy has gone the rest of his life thinking that he was just a fucking god at that game because he was the only one that could beat it. That's that's hilarious. There's some dude out there right now who's just been living a lie ever since college. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh.
Okay, what's what's the order that I have to attack this next boss in? Because you made a big deal about it in our show. Oh, it's the the you know, I guess it makes sense that it would be the chick, huh? Um <sighs> shit. Do I still have my notes that I wrote down for that? I mean it's then it's in the Google Drive. Yes, I suppose you're right. It would be. Uh, let me see. Yeah, because it's like four specific moves, and if you don't do them in those or in that order, it just like does no damage. Uh, bu -bu -bu. show notes. Show notes. Order different state. So change slave slot to one. And we're going to save it here, just in case this goes south. In case. Oh, it will. <laughs> uh, okay. So you need to kick. So either a standing or jump kick, either one. Mm -hmm. uh, a standing punch, a low punch, and then a low kick. So basically, kick, punch, and then low it's punch, low kick. It's all in the mind. Just don't stop. Stop. Kick punch. It's all in the mind. Don't know the rest of that song because I've never played the game. Yes, that's right. Be be like the the coursing river or whatever it is. What? No! 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 Oh my god, what? I mean, you are on the second to last stage, so it's impressive. Also, consider trying to be as mysterious as the dark side of the moon. I'm working on it. Yeah, well, I am, Randall, so <laughs> that's where I'm taking it now, okay? I'm, what I'm saying is Chris needs to get down to business. To defeat the Wang. They are... This has no chill. It, yeah, it really doesn't. And it, this version is not Wang, it's uh, Raul. Oh, well, there you go. Holy shit. It's going worse than it did last time. I mean, it can be if you want it to be, Lyle. I mean, that could be your, you know, your, <clears throat> your head cannon or whatever. Make some fanfic. Dong make is some, the real villain. Make some, uh, make some Shane and Chris Retro Hangover fanfic about how we are just trying to fight the Wang. That's right. Stop I mean, that's why we have I the why we have the eggplant jump. dragon.
The good news is I think the last boss, if I spam save state my way through this, it's not even a level. It's just a boss. But I have to make it through that first. Game Shark, or whatever the equivalent is. Yeah, Game Sharks, the uh, what what the Master System was known for. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Did they make anything like that for the Master System? I actually don't Hell, know. Hell, no. Well, why not? Because no one... What, they wanted to sell ten Game Sharks? I think there actually are some, uh, some cheat codes. I mean, whatever, man. I don't. I was say I, I don't have any like allegiance to the master system just because I own one. Oh my god! I fucking made it. So it's uh, standing kick. Then what? It's a standing or a jump kick, so just upper kick, upper punch, then low punch, low kick. Uh, it's not even a chick, or is it? I can't. No, it's I a dude. It, it's a dude. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that's working. Yeah. See how that did no damage. Yeah. Just repeat, yeah. Yep, then you repeat the cycle. Just remember that when you've defeated him and he does that drop kick right there, um, yeah. the only way to kill him is to kick him as he's coming down on that drop kick, apparently. Otherwise, he's just invulnerable. Like, do I have to do a jump kick? Uh, the thing I read was just kick, but it's either a, it's either a standing kick or a jump I kicked kick. Him, it, it didn't work. I mean, if you're quick enough on that save state button, once you get him down to nothing, you could save state real quick. Yeah, jump yeah, kick. There you go. Nice. Midair plank. <laughs> and that's the thing that Ryan was talking about in the episode too. Just like that still happens in the 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 global release version. Which then makes zero sense because it has nothing to do with Fist of the North Star. Yeah, in the American like version, are fighting on lava. In the American version, it was Mr. X in the background. Like it even looked like you could say, "Oh no, that's Wang, dude!" It looks nothing like Wang if you see yeah, Wang. No. That's Mr. X. They were advertising Streets of Rage, even though it was two years <laughs> away. They knew. Of course they do. Yuzo Koshiro is that fucking man. This dude is, uh, he has no chill. He is also the last boss, so he's not supposed to have chill. That is a good point. He is also, uh, putting up less of a fight than Super Whippy Dude that rushed at me and just decided to whip me a million times. So I gotta say that. So what the fuck, Sega? Like, what kind of programming is this? They're like, hey, we know the Master System controller is so shitty you won't be able to pull off diagonal moves. But they never anticipated the Sega Genesis controller. <laughs> ah! Da! 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 Woo! 
Well, shit. See, now, now you gotta do it all again on Black Belt now. Fuck you. God damn it. <laughs> so, yeah, if you see this in the Sega Master System version, okay, it makes absolutely no sense. Because, well, first of all, if you don't know anything about Fist of the North Star, what you're seeing right now, it makes absolutely no sense. And there's his girlfriend, Yuria, not Kyoko. Some nice boots she's got there. Raul is also his brother. So Toki and Raul are his brothers. Toki is the good one who can heal. And uh, Raul is the bad one who essentially becomes a god, as you referenced in the, in the episode. And you have to go fight him. And there's two seasons dedicated to you essentially overtaking him. It gets really weird, as it as it is wont to do. Yeah, I would say it's it's an anime, so yes, of course, eventually. It gets anime. weirder and eventually you fight God. That's it's almost every anime ever. Jamming out. Wait, hold on. Oh yeah. This is actually good use of the Sega Master System's PSG, which I don't like. This is good. This is passable? Sega Mark III. You know what's funny, actually, is while I was getting the um, grabbing music for the episode to put on our uh, brief history segment and whatnot, mm -hmm. I realized that, in my opinion, even the uh, even the soundtrack, the soundtracks differ as well, actually, and we didn't mention that in the episode, but... They did, um, yeah. And the... Uh, the original Japanese one is better, as it turns out. It's not that much different, though. It isn't, but uh, like the title screen music, I felt was better than the Black Belt one. Oh yeah. I just want to know the choices that they made here because they had to change pretty much all of the enemies, and it's like, why? Why did they? Why did they pick this? Right. Now, like this dude, like. He becomes a chef. I don't know why he's a chef. Right. I think they just picked shit out of a hat. They're like, I don't know, um, cook, I guess. By the way, everything looks like really nice for a post-apocalyptic world. I'm just gonna say that. Yeah, man, that's what I was saying. Like, I feel like it was some sort of self-burn that the developers, they were just like, yeah, it's a post-apocalypse. It looks just like Japan. And in a future post-apocalyptic world, it's Japanese. <laughs> Fuck you, nerds. Mm, that's right. Get that air sushi. Man, comparatively, like, the invincibility and the sushi power-ups, just those two make this such a different experience. Yeah, like right there. See, I'm like getting uh, gang banged. Yep. Could have been a lot worse. Dem, dem hitboxes, though. Oh, by the way, I'm loving Streets of Rage 4. It's not as good as Streets of Rage 2. It is definitely missing something. But it is, it is a fun game nonetheless. I'm having a blast with it. I don't think I'll be able to get platinum, but I'm going to. I'm really going to try. Yeah, Fat Man was a lot harder. It was a lot easier there too. All right, this is not going to be easy. He's actually harder here than he is in the uh, Japanese version, in my opinion, from personal experience. <laughs> from literally like 30 minutes ago. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I, I'm surprised that Chris is able to play this effectively after uh, the time spent with SOR4. I would assume his thumbs are probably bandaged right oh now. Oh my god, they are in so much pain. <laughs> it's because, uh, it's mostly because of the PlayStation controller. I think if I was playing it on a Genesis controller, like I'm used to playing Streets of Rage with, it would have been easier. And that's just not me sucking up to the Sega controller like I normally do. Mm, it's yeah. 
It's just that the play like the D-pad on the PS4 is is it digs it really digs into the thumb. It's not as bad as the Dreamcast controller though. I had I tore my thumb open playing Marvel vs. Capcom. So here's a change. In the Japanese version, he walks off screen and he goes see Zuria. And what's what happens in the anime as well. Mm-hmm. Um of course, no one knows who Yuria is, because Kyoko's supposed to be gone. Like, gone, gone, till the end of the game. So, they don't... There's nothing there. Save state here. Pam, look at that beautiful Bay City skyline post-apocalypse. It's like Mega Man. By the way, my beer tonight is Franzis Connor Vice Beer, and it's yeah. fantastic. I remember drinking it when I was in Djibouti a long time ago. We called it Drunk Monk, because it looks like a big fat monk getting drunk, and it's good. Maybe it was there, or maybe it was in a... Yeah, he's a lot less Nazi-ish here, by the way, the whip dude. But uh, we called he it... He looks like a lion tamer. Yeah, it could have been in Siganella. Could have been drinking it in Europe. I'm not sure, but it's good. I know I drank uh, Cronenborg 1664 for the first time in Judy. I'm trying to figure out, like, what these guys are supposed to be. These are the uh, the Chinese Kung Fu men. Ah, right, of course, yes. I just feel like if they were trying to be thematic, you should just be fighting, like, a bunch of, like, sailor thugs or something, since you appear to be down by the docks. This is not a consistent game, okay? I can't jump on rooftops. That's true. I mean, that makes it a 0 out of 10, in my opinion, right there. <laughs> you can't but, pet the dog, I... either. Oh, well, fucking, why are we even talking about this game? You know what? I'm going to go delete the episode. Fuck this. Can't pet the dogs, you're out of town. <laughs> you might be like, but there is no dog. Shut up. That's another zero out of ten. I mean, yeah, that's a problem in and of itself. I can't pet the dog if there isn't one there. I would also like to know just I wanna know if the, the... that, that dude's knives look like glow sticks. I wanna know if spam low kick works here too. The Orden strategy. Look at look at how like like supportive the graffiti is go you go you go you fight do the thing with this snake hand tactic that's right okay spamming low kick isn't working as well here orden i'm sorry i'm trying mm. i mean it has its advantages but it's just not it's not working out for me because of those like beefy shin guards that guy's got on that's what it is that's what it is that is yeah, definitely he, what it is he he just got done playing roller hockey with his with his bros as as you do i mean this is yeah late 80s yeah it's probably that's probably a thing now it's working there you go. Just gotta get him in a corner. There, yeah. Put Strategy. baby in a corner. Oh Jesus! Well, until he just decides to walk by. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm tired of this shit. I'm not. I'm not doing it anymore. Is what he said. I want to. I actually want to find someone and like do a Gaiden, an RHP Gaiden. It's someone who actually played this game back in the day, and it's like, actually, no, man, it's really a good game. You're just being. I mean, apparently being those ignorant. people exist. I love this music, by the way. This music is so good. Yeah, that's actually, that's why I, I use the, 
boss track for our for our episode. Oh, so good. Is it just me or was every level in the in in the Japanese version? Did they have different music for every level? I don't it's like the same. Every level here. I don't know because I have it muted, but um I can definitely tell you that yes, that is the case for this one because when you go and look if you go on YouTube like right now and go look at the soundtrack for this game, it's Shit. like it's two songs and then just like the the bumper tracks for like the end of the level and like the start and the title screen and that's pretty much it. Astro Boy game, huh? I'm gonna stick by my point, by the way. I'm just not making fun. I was making fun of my dude in the white gi here in a post-apocalyptic world. But how is everyone else getting all this shit to wear? Like, where is the Gucci? So, uh, Randall, I keep wanting to call you Orden. God. Uh, you're, you're clearly talking about uh, Astro Boy colon the video game for the Nintendo Wii, right? That's that's obviously the one that you're referencing. No, the Game Boy that, Advance one. That that has to be it. No, he's he's just mis he's misremembering. It's definitely the Wii. That seems like a quality title. The Game Boy Advance one is actually really good. Sega made it. I mean, that, that might actually... Yeah, that's it. That's probably the one he's really talking about. There's a PS2 Astro Boy game, apparently. One of them sucks. I know that. I mean, the PS2 one is hovering right around like 5 out of 10 range. I will say, yeah, this, this is a lot easier than the Japanese version. Oh, birds. Fuck! Birds! Ah, okay, it was the PS2 one. Well, you're wrong. <laughs> I mean, listen, people are allowed to like what they like. No, I mean, no. Listen, also, 5 out of 10 is technically supposed to be average. That's part of why, like... Not in, not in school. Yeah, well, okay. But that's also why the rating systems are fucking Oh my god, anyway. he's, the, he's the same kind of fucking asshole here, too. Jesus Christ! Oh. See, they didn't change that at all. Wow. Look, Orden, you're entitled to your wrong opinion. That's all I have to say. <laughs> well, the, uh, that Wii version, or not version, but the Wii game they made for Astro Boy is, like, objectively worse, as it turns out, so... So I guess you got you got the better Fuck, of the two. And I loaded instead of saved again. Well, right, Randall, that's what I'm saying, right? It's like rating systems like that usually suck because everybody, for whatever reason, if something is not an eight or a nine out of ten, they immediately think it's terrible, which is not what that's supposed to mean. Like a five or a six means like yeah, okay, this is, like, nothing to get excited about, but, like, it's a pretty competent game, and maybe if you find it on sale, fucking give it a try. Like, that's what a 5 or a 6 is. That's, like, your average. Yeah, but, but they people don't just do that. assume that... Well, right, but that's the problem, is that they don't do that, and so now everybody thinks if it's not, like I said, 8 or 9 out of 10, then it's trash. Who do you blame for that? Is, would you blame, like, EGN for that? I don't know if I'd pick one specific like 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 there has to be blame. a there has to be a start a progenitor of because movies aren't like that like two stars isn't a bad movie like three stars is a good movie that's seventy five percent two right. and a half stars is an okay movie I mean I also think in terms of a scale of ten now anyway mostly thanks to IMDb but but yeah. 
But, it, like, you go back at the old system, and it was always, uh, you know, out of four stars. Right, right, yeah. But I guess video games... Video games even haven't haven't even always been out of ten. Because well, you, had, you had GamePro no. that had well, it out of five. No, people can pick whatever the fuck they want. I mean, yeah, yeah some it's people arbitrary. do five stars, like, yeah. But even people don't listen, like... Even, like, they would say, like, this is average, and, like, I think EGM said, like, oh, this is average if it's, like, a five or whatever. Oh, I miss my ka. I miss my sushi! Gotta reload. Dun-dun. But, no, I mean, I guess you're right. I mean, EGN's been one of them that's been around the longest, so... Yeah, I mean, I'm you sure. have to think, it had to start somewhere, and that that's kind of where I think it would have to start. I'm not yeah. saying it's their fault, it's just how people interpret it. Well, I mean, you could also fucking talk about Famitsu. Uh, but we didn't read Famitsu here. No, no, so, I know, but, like, they're <laughs> they're notorious for having, like, completely shit and biased ratings anyway. Like, they're not objective, in the least. Not anymore. Plus, I think, what's their rating? It's like out of 40, isn't it? Well, that's like because they have four weird. reviewers. Oh, okay. I guess I guess that makes sense. This is not going my way. It was pretty much like the last time you fought these guys. No, like, I, I, it went really well, and then I missed my everything because I kept on getting attacked by ninjas. Which, I don't think they call them ninjas in this game. I don't know why. That would be the perfect name for them. There we go. Boss time. And sure, that could be a Sasha Banks reference for anyone who cares. <laughs> okay. All right, same strategy. Got this. Ah, I see somebody was Google fooing that very quickly. So Game Informer, huh? Interesting. You say they did it? I don't. I don't agree with that. Game Informer. I, I can kind of see that because I don't know if they're bigger than EGM though. That's even sadder if you know what's going on in the Japanese version. Oh, that's so terrible. <laughs> Done with one. On to the next. These are the... Oh my god! Oh. Huh. Oh my god. So, um... Um... Interesting. <laughs> oh. That wasn't a typo. Nope. Nope. Apparently it wasn't. Either that or... It was translated that way and then they were like oh well, we need to make them that way I, I don't know oh no <laughs> oh no also fun that this is just a reskinned version of the previous stage yeah don't that's not the right wording right there Shane don't <laughs> know <laughs> it's, it's not what I meant What? See, yeah, but they're... They're not... Oh, no. What the fuck is going on? This game oh, is wow. so racist. 
Those are just, those are almost the same sprites from the other game, just they, they changed their hair. No, the, the hair's some the of same. The colors. Well, no, because they had pink hair in the Did other they? one. Yeah. Oh my god. They did not know how to read the room in the 80s. That is for damn sure. No, you know, I take that back. They did know how to read the room. They just didn't care about the room. They're like, hey, the room's complaining. Ah, fuck them. If you're wondering what we're saying oh no to, I think we mentioned it earlier, but if you don't know, go listen to the podcast, because I'm not repeating it on this stream. Not in this situation. It's not happening. Uh, it was a different time? Oh my god. I guess. <laughs> It was the best of times, it was the racist of times, it was the worst of times. What the fuck were they thinking? Go full ABGN on this, and I'm like, what were they thinking? What were they thinking? Yeah, that's Mr. X. By the way, that's not Wang. That's not Wang. It's not. Also, now having seen this like side by side with the other one, um, I can see like what they did to the sprite for this boss to like change it. They basically just like added some extra like longer hair to turn it into a woman and change the clothes around a little bit and that's pretty much it. Let's see, was that the reason I said Game Informer did the numbered thing first? Because if I recall correctly, EGN did first runner up, third, fourth, etc. with their ratings. Now that could be the case. I, no, I honestly EGM don't had a they had four panelists, and they each gave it a one through ten. Oh no! I saved instead of loaded. I can't get this shit together, can I? It's fine. You can do it. I got it. Ah! Uh, I'll load it. I think I got it. Come on, come on. Jump at me, bitch! I'll just... I'm just going to assume you're still eating, and oh, that's that's why. That's the reason. <laughs> yeah, see, this is what I'm saying. That right there, like, with no context at all, makes no sense. No. It's great. And now I'm off to fighting... Wang, before well, we call this please a night. Please seek medical attention, Randall, if you are 
suffering see, from... Okay, I want everyone to understand. That picture we just saw in the other room, that could... See, look. That's Wang. The picture in the other room, not Wang. Same, I mean, diff different maybe people. Maybe it was Wang in a different suit. He's just wearing his ass-kicking gear right now. Yeah, because that's what you do in a post-apocalyptic world. Is you put on your fucking gi like a fucking douchebag. <laughs> I mean, he's obviously not as badass as you because he's wearing shoes. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> he is. He is Matt Riddle. No, I'm Matt Riddle. Wang's a fucking cock munch. That's for sure. I had him. I had him. It was just one of those things you have to hit him with a certain move before he dies. Fuck. you got it Woo! -hoo. fuck say look at Let's that see. makes no sense why is he game. raising his arm up like raul 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 i'm sorry raul like makes no sense makes zero sense thank you orden ah you, you did it you 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 saved the the wasteland. You've you've gotten your beautiful Japanese mask. Yay, Bukaki party! <laughs> you finally <laughs> defeated the boss, and temporarily brought peace to the world. Now, with the experience you've gained and Kyoko's love to sustain you, continue to battle onward to an even more rousing victory. Is that, are they talking about sex? I mean, they're not. But I definitely read it that way, so... What else also, could that mean? Well, they said rousing, not arousing. There's a difference. They kept the, they kept this jam in end tune though. In the same logo. They, they forgot to take this out. So well, they didn't out. think anybody would get here. No, I, I think you're right. <laughs> That's right. Kyoko is actually a health potion. That's the secret. She's a fairy, She's a fairy in a bottle. Gotta, gotta rub her the right way. No, that's a genie. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I thought we were making early 2000s Christina Aguilera references. Excuse me. Okay, I, I gotta see if I have this one game. Hold on, everybody. I don't, but I can find it really quick. I'm not gonna... I'm not going to have you suffer through this through this music. So let me power this off. Let's see if I can find the game. I will find the game for all of you. Oh, what are we what are we finding? Fist of the North Star. Like 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 which one? 
That's the secret to ev- that's the secret to everybody. Oh, well, that's that is true, even to me. Let's keep it Sega themed. You can do the Nintendo ones next week. Uh, I could do that. Japanese one or the American one? Let's see if they got it. They do not. No, they do. Sweet. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm working on it. I'm figuring this out. No, no, it's fine. No, I'm, I'm intrigued. No, no, I want to know. Let's keep this Sega themed. Let's keep this developed by Sega. Let's go with the Sega Genesis launch game. I don't think it was a launch game in Japan. However, it was the United States. In the United States, we called it Last Battle. But in Japan, of course, it was called Hokutu no Ken Shin Sekimatsu Kyo Seishu Densetsu. That's a mouthful. I, I, hold on. Let me make sure my controllers are configured, too. Ah, uh, yes. Story. 1990X. And then Moon Language, because I can't read the rest of it. Moon Language. Mm-hmm. Well, they're talking about something Raul did and what Kenshiro's doing. God, fucking that. Raul. Oh, Lin. They're talking about Lin. Okay, the rest of it I don't know. Great. Can't read that. Sometime in the 90s, something about Raul. Got it. It's time for clacks. Great. What? There it is. Oh, oh yeah, he just... He's like, I don't fucking need this shirt. Flex right out of that motherfucker. Oh yeah, I uh, actually I, I played this briefly. Not not the Japanese version. The other one. It's much more violent. Much more faithful to the anime. It it is. Um, I also didn't play it for very long because I didn't think it was particularly good. It's not. Yeah, I mean, it looks a lot nicer. Yeah, for sure. I I almost feel like this is one of those games where I feel like the sprites are too big. It's like China Warrior. Yeah, yeah. Bit. Oh. Is yes, this the sequel? Right. I think this is Fist of North Star 2. Anime Hair Man. I think it's the sequel. Oh my god, it's non-linear. That's crazy. I keep on trying to press up to jump. <laughs> it's not working out for me. The, the game is better now, Chris. You don't have to do that. And look at your health bar compared to his. It's getting... Yeah, and how much faster it's going down. Yep, one life. That's all you get in this game, by the way. Just like real life. Oh my god, it just kicks you right to the start screen. Jesus. Ugh. Actually, that's probably why I stopped playing it, because as soon as I saw that happen, I was like, well, I'm done. Doesn't give me the big, strong sense of power fantasy I was hoping for. I mean, with sprites that big, yeah, I should hope so. I just like, no matter where I punch them, their heads explode. It's awesome. Okay, so obviously this was a console game, but I feel... Was this, was this in the arcade also? No. It really feels like an arcade game.
I think it was made by Sega, though, so that would explain it. I mean, yeah. Sega, that's all they did, really. That's that's also part of their downfall, is they couldn't really think about how to make anything outside an arcade game. And he's dead. That's pretty gruesome. I can imagine getting this as a, like, here, here's your brand new Genesis, and they give you this. <laughs> like, no. I mean, to be fair, you were probably just so distracted by the, the, the beautiful new graphics that you didn't pay attention to how shit the gameplay is. Yeah, that's, bro, that's exactly what I said, like, a half an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. An hour it ago, is, to be honest. Though. Okay, like an hour, whatever. But yes, for real, that's exactly what it is. Fist of the North Star is just Kung Fu Mad Max. That's all it is. And I know, I know, if if Ryan was here, he'd probably take umbrage with that because I'm probably being real reductive or whatever. But He'd probably, no, he probably wouldn't, to be honest with you. <laughs> he'd just be like, yeah, that's, that's true. That's uh, That's what it is. I mean, you do get the benefit of just, like, punch exploding dudes' heads. That that didn't happen in Mad Max, so... No. That's an improvement, right? Also, uh, Kenshiro's not racist. Oh, hey. Well, there you go. Well, to be fair, we, we didn't really know about... We didn't? I mean, I don't think we did. I mean... If you're talking about Mel Gibson, I I didn't pay close enough attention to the man to know that one way or the other and it became very public. That's true. Which is also unfortunate, because I, I happened to like him as an I, actor. I do think he's a good actor. He's the he's the rigs of, of Riggs and Murtaugh. He just hates hates Jews. Yeah, you know, no big deal. <laughs> I don't know how to avoid that. I like that you're gonna fucking die from just a stationary knife. That's, that's great. <laughs> Do what now? Wait a minute, what? Finished editing a tape for his RPG? That's fucking... What I you okay? You need to explain that more. What do you mean he finished? Someone making fucking cassette tapes in twenty twenty one? What what are we talking about here? That's suspicious. Is it a mixtape? Okay. Well, I might be mildly disappointed, but continue. Okay, so you're just calling it a tape. I mean, that's fine, because I, I do that, too, still. I mean, if I, if I were to ever say, which I don't know why I would at this day and age, but if I were to ever say something about recording something off TV, I would definitely just call it taping it, which True. would probably make no fucking sense to anybody that's younger than us, but... I say recording. Apparently I can't go that way. That's stupid. Oh wow, I'd love to voice act. If you can hook me up, that'd be sweet. No, that yeah, that is pretty cool. I was um, I was actually talking to our recent guest there, Patrick Hickey Jr., um, about that. Yeah. Because he was uh, he's he's done some voice acting for some video games, and I was mentioning to him that that was something that I had been interested in 
thinking about trying to get into for, for some time, but frankly, I just haven't had time to pursue that in addition to everything else going on. In addition to life. Yeah, yeah pretty much, yeah. Okay, I don't know where to go. Okay. So, is this like, is this canonical? Like, are, are there just, you know, flying axes in Fist of the North Star? Uh, no. Okay, great. This is actually, I don't think this is... This is like the sequel to Fist of the North Star. Oh, well, then I guess all bets are off. I no idea what's going on. I don't either. I almost want to call uh, it there. I'm, oh, Jesus. I'm done with this. This game sucks. This game's really bad. It's really bad. I already beat two of them. <sighs> that, that's a bad game. All right, man. Well, best of luck with the two-week notice. I'm, sh I'm sure you can do it. I, I believe in you. On to bigger and better things. Yeah, and or well, well, thank you for being awesome. Thank you for being awesome. Don't thank me for being awesome. Thank Shane for being awesome. I know, I am not awesome. I don't. I don't know. I I I don't necessarily agree with that. Okay. Well, we can debate who's awesome all night long, but. <laughs> Um, uh, well, I think Randall is setting the tone because I think we're probably about ready to call it a night too, actually. Yeah. Um, at least I think, I don't know, unless Chris has got something else he wants to drop on us. No, I really don't. I'm done playing bad games and great for the night because, oh my God, I, I'm probably going to be getting something in the mail tomorrow and I'm not looking forward to it and I'm going to have to play it. Well, hey, I got my copy of Nier in the mail yesterday, so... That's a lot better than what I'm about to get. Okay. Well, that that's good. A lot better. In fact, almost everything's better than what I'm about to get. Thank you, Lyle! Um, oh, oh, no. Okay, yeah, I know what you're talking about now. Yeah. I... So, okay, by the way, Lyle, if you're still... I think you're still here. I don't know, the Twitch counter is stupid, but okay, yeah, you're still here. Thanks, okay. The all caps, I hate you. But no, seriously, bro, like, um, this might be the one game so far where I cannot, it's not that I don't want to, because I also don't want to, just for the record, but I don't know if I can get past the first level of that game, because I have tried, and it sucks so hard that I don't know if I can, so I don't know how we're going to talk about this, it's going to be interesting. We'll talk about and the first level, I guess. It's all your fault. We'll talk about the first level. We'll talk about the brief history. And then we'll just talk about how terrible of a person Lyle is. And it'll be great. It'll yes, be it's great. so bad that it's hard. It's it's not even like... I don't even think it would be as difficult as I think it is if it wasn't for the fact that it's just that shitty. Oh, like boy. I, yeah. It's, it's good times. It's good. It's good times. In any case, we are a podcast. <laughs> That's and, right, yes. And, and you can listen to our episodes on the podcatcher of your choice. And if you're not sure where you can find us, go to bit.ly slash go RHP Gorp, the magical eggplant Gorp. dragon. Just remember Gorp, G-O-H. No, G-O-R-H, <laughs> bit.ly slash G-O-R-H-P. And That's right. you can find us there. We also have... All sorts of crazy shit, like uh, the Sunday stream, which a lot of people are watching right now. Well, I guess the majority of the people who watch this are watching right now, because you're probably watching this on YouTube. So go to twitch.tv slash retro hangover. You can find us there. Uh, we have a merch store where you can get awesome little coffee mugs. I love my coffee mug. Amongst beer steins, t-shirts, all sorts of awesome stuff with Gorp, the eggplant dragon, adorned on it. Amongst other logos that you can partake in and you can get that at bit.ly slash rhp merch and um 
just come over to our Patreon too. A lot of people who are joining us tonight, they're Patreon, they're 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 patrons, they're patron saints of ours. And yeah, everyone watching is watching this, is what Lyle said. And he's absolutely correct. <laughs> you are you are you are technically correct, which is the best kind. It's the best kind of correct. So a lot of people that were joining us tonight were our Patreons, and if you want to join in on the fun over in the Discord channel, which you can do for free at bit.ly slash chat, just join us if you have Discord, you can go there. But if you want to join the rest of our patrons too, and, and just $1 a month, can uh, we would greatly appreciate it. And other tiers get you shout-outs and additional, uh, additional audio content. Go to bit.ly slash rhpatron, and that would be amazing too. Just any bit of support helps. And we greatly appreciate it. Is there anything I'm forgetting, Shane? For just one dollar a month, you too can support independent podcasts. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, we can't make sure Sarah McLaughlin shut the fuck up, but we can. Yeah. Appreciate no amount you of donations can dollars. change that. No. Uh, let's see. No, I, I I think you covered everything. No, so I think I think we're good. I'm covering I'm it like a Jimmy hat, man. Yeah, that's that's right. I got, I have nothing to say. To... <laughs> yes. Uh, all right. Well, until next time, play with your racist black belt joysticks. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs>